hey you guys and welcome back to my channel i haven't done a vlog in a while and it's so funny because i got up at like i got up very early today like very 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 early it's now it's 6 3 can i see 6 33 and honestly guys i don't know i couldn't sleep like i went to bed at one and then I got up at about five something I don't know I keep I don't know there's let me know if I'm the only one that experiences this and what if you guys do what do you do so basically I keep having these dreams where somebody is holding me down like I don't know they said it's sleep paralysis but I don't know man like it feels so real like the person comes over you and you cannot talk you cannot breathe like you can breathe it's almost like you're awake but because the person is holding you down you can't really like say like you can't you can't say nothing you cannot scream like you are screaming but no one's hearing you like you are talking but no one's hearing like you're just stuck and like you're fighting to get up and you can't and like you are like yeah five to get up and you have five to get up and you cannot get up until like you have to give yourself like a good three four and then like you know and then jump up and i don't know like it's very scary when it happens to me and it's been happening for the past like four days and i don't know why I called my mom and my mom told me that maybe it's because I'm sleeping on my back so I should change how I'm sleeping. I don't I don't know. Like it happened it normally happens to me like when I'm sleeping in pitch dark. And it always happens to me by the way. Like this I've had this I don't know what it is, but I've had it from I left high school actually. Did my yeah actually i got you know when i started having it after my godmom died the year after my godmom died because i left high school in in 2014 i think it's the same year it's the same year whatever nevertheless it was after she died it started happening to me and at first i was just like i don't know like it's very it's very weird when someone that you love dearly dies and then you you yearn to see them so badly that sometimes you pray that when you go to your to your bed and you dream of them like you want it to be as real as possible and i feel like sometimes we mistake our loved ones for like demonic spirit and it's actually like people think like it's not even a real thing but i i'm big on energy and spirit and i feel like there's i don't know like there's something along those lines like when it happens like something along those lines like whenever you are like you know you're sad and you feel like you want to you just want to see that person like please god my dreams them back and that and at that point that was me like when my godmom just died like i was very depressed like very 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 like my godmom is literally like my heart like almost next to my mom or not even almost i think she's probably next to my mom like at one point i think i loved my godmom more than how i actually love my mom which was crazy but i feel like I don't know she was always just this person like you know when you have a person like she was my person and she was very good too she was she was very good which is I don't know but anyways um yeah she was just my person like I know and then when she died I was very heartbroken I was very depressed and I used to literally cry at night like hoping that when i go to sleep and i dream i dream of her and i don't know if it's like something along those lines why that started happening to me because it was after that but anyways it's been happening to me again like it never used to happen to me for a long time and then now it started happening to me again and it's been happening like consistently don't know why 
but nevertheless i'm up at six in the morning well i've been up from five at six in the morning and i am literally just making some plans as to what my day would look like okay i don't know if this is centered but yeah so guys i got this planner that says 2023 i got it off of amazon and i always get planners and then i don't really plan i eat like i'm that person like i get planners but then i don't really plan which is bad so this year i'm trying to actually go by what i have planned but today is monday january 9th can you imagine it's already nine days in the new year that's crazy that is crazy um but tomorrow not tomorrow today i will be having another week sale so i think i jot that down already it's not this yeah it's already so i have a week sale that is starting today guys can you can you imagine I had the entire weekend to style these wigs. No, I'm lying. I had some stuff to do, but I could have styled the wigs. I started styling them, but I didn't. I didn't finish. I still. I styled about two, and then after I styled two, I got a message from one of my clients that she wanted a wig to put on her head. And my wigs. I'm. I resell my wigs. By the way, that's the wig. Those are the weeks that I'm talking about. So if you guys don't follow me on my Instagram, I have a hair page actually that I go that I resell my wigs on. Okay. So yeah, I'm I got a message from her and she wanted to buy a wig. And the only wig that I had was like a closure wig, which I already styled because my wig can't fit her because my head is a little bit smaller than hers. So uh, it's best for her to get a closure wig just because the lace is already cut to my head size um, and it won't fit. Like it, it just won't fit. And normally when I'm posting my wigs, I always make sure to put it in the caption. My wigs are a 22.5 circumference that's because that's my head. So if your head is bigger, then it will not work. If your head is my size or smaller then you'll be good but if not then it won't work it's like i always tell people beforehand because once i sell these wigs they're non-refundable and i try to make sure i put everything up front before i do anything so that's that so i have a wig sale to do today at 8 p.m so i have to edit the video so i have to um what's it called i have to style the wigs and I have to edit a hair video so I did a hair video last night and I have to edit it for YouTube but I think it's mostly just styling the wig today YouTube and oh my gosh oh my gosh I need to on Tuesday so I yeah so on Tuesday I need to come up with a marketing strategy for a skincare company um so i think that's that then on wednesday i have a hair appointment um do i have a hair appointment on tuesday i don't remember you know i don't remember i actually don't remember but anyways guys that's it that's my little what we'll be doing for today um i don't know if i'm i don't think i'm gonna put this vlog like i'm not i'm not gonna do anything too long i'm gonna keep it short so i have like small small clips anyways that's that let me just go watch my thing and then i'll get back to you guys like later on or so
So guys, can you tell me why I forgot that I didn't put the thing up for the sale? Cause I bought this rack thingy. So it's supposed to go on the wall, basically. Like so, but not on this side. I'm probably gonna put it on that side. But I was supposed to put it up so when I style the wigs and I can just pin them um, using these pins. But sis forgot that it's not up. I don't know how I forgot that. Well, I kind of remember it, but then I forgot. So now I'm thinking like, how am I gonna actually put these wigs to get there? But I'm thinking that I'm probably just gonna use up there right here which these are not supposed to be here it's supposed to i'm supposed to have a lot of these to like make an actual wall but um i need to get more and these were just laying on the floor so i decided to just put them here but they're not supposed to be there so i think i'm just gonna use this thing for now and hang the wigs up because i don't want them to like lay down so I'm gonna actually take this off and hang it right there. I'm gonna actually have to take off both sides, but for now I'm just gonna do one and see how many wigs I can fit on that, wigs on that, wigs on that, until I actually put this off. Anyways, let's carry on. I'm done styling the wigs. It's now 6.57. Oh, 6.57, oh my gosh. I feel like I was talking to you guys at 6 something this morning. I know I'm talking to you guys at 6 something. So, the it's pretty much 7 o'clock and the wig sale is at 8. So, after... um, Okay, so what I normally do is, after I style the wigs and stuff, like, well, before, when I take them out, I actually... No. I'll actually go in and write down how much i'm selling them for uh and the way how i price these wigs are i normally go on the website so i look for the links um of the wig from which it was originally sent to me and i look on the prices and then i either um cut it in half or sometimes i do go a little less because the prices are in us and for example a wig for 720 dollars if you cut it in 
half it will still be like 300 or some us so it'll be like 400 and sometimes i feel like that's, that's kind of too expensive so i i do my quotes in canadian dollars so yeah so now i'm just gonna go in and pretty much look and okay i'm gonna start like okay so what i do now is i go in and then i create my pose and Um, got all my drafts ready for posting, so it's all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh, kind of flare stop, but anyways, they're all right here, right? Um, and I did say I had six weeks to do seven lies, eight. I only did six, I have two more. Yeah, guys, I have two more. But the ones that I have that I did not do, I'm gonna like probably just post it in the week or something. But yeah, um, and in the meantime, I'm just gonna edit uh, this video. I mean, I can edit it after, I'm a little tired, but I have to. Um, I want to finish, I actually want to finish like you know, editing it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right about now. Yes. When people tell you they get paid in their sleep, this is what they mean, okay? It doesn't mean that you don't do anything and you just get paid in your sleep, no. You do the work, you go to sleep, and then when you wake up, you get a paycheck. That's making money in your sleep. <laughs> well, for me at least, because I do the videos, I send them to the companies, and then when I'm asleep, because typically the Chinese people, them, you know the time difference, they reply when I'm sleeping. So then I get the money in my sleep. So that's how I make money in my sleep. <laughs> um, but I can't wait to really, 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 really make money in my sleep. But anyways, I'm going to go edit and then I'll see you guys after. Because I'm just going to be sitting down on the computer not really doing anything interesting. And I don't want you guys to be bored. So I'll see you guys after. Yeah. Hey guys and welcome back. So this is the next day. I... I was supposed to finish this vlog yesterday, but sis, after after I was done styling the wigs and stuff, I was very tired. I don't know. I had my video to edit, and I came, I finished, and I, I edited my video, but I was supposed to, like, save it and everything to send it to the company last night. So this morning when I get up, I would have been paid already, and I'm supposed to post the video today. It's Tuesday. I normally try to post tuesdays thursdays and saturdays that's not gonna happen so right now the video is edited and everything i'm just adding it to my uploading it basically um and i'm filling out all the details so that's what i'm doing right now i did get a late start today because i got up and i had to do it so it's two already in the evening Why? um what else so today i have today I, today i have a marketing thing to do so i'm pretty much i don't remember i don't remember if i said that in like the previous video but i have that to do i ended up selling um three out of the five weeks yesterday because i only posted five i sold three and two out of the three, um, they want it to be shipped. So, I have to ship them. I will go to the post office, edit this vlog, because I'm finishing it off today. I'm trying to do them short, so like the, when I'm editing, it's not so much. So that's what I'm trying to do. So post office, marketing thing, and to edit this vlog. That's all I have to do today. Thank God. Also, I think I have to reply to an email. 
I'm gonna do that just now. I'm just but I'm just trying to get like these out the way and then I got a missed call from a cleaning company that has my winter jacket. My winter jacket is a mess. I don't know why I chose that color. I think at the time when I was buying it, my mom thought it was cute. I thought it was cute as well and I chose it. It's like a fusion pink. No, fusion pink is more... It's like a petal pink. Like a rose petal. I don't know if that makes sense. A pink pink petal if you know the adore dye i'm trying to compare it with hair dye it's like an idiot but it's like pink petal type of thing like it's more what what's that what's that it's, it's pale it's a pale pink yeah like a really pale pink and it got dirty but that was my fault because I was supposed to bring it to, to the cleaners from a whole long and I keep, keep slipping my mind and I'm just wearing it because I'm cold. So I brought it to the cleaners and unfortunately my jacket is a macage jacket and it needs to go to somebody that specializes in cleaning those type of jacket. Like it's, it's so annoying. That's why sometimes it's better to just get a cheap jacket. But the cheap jackets, well you have some that you could find. That will um actually keep you. Oh, I think my gun replied to me. That will actually keep you warm, but not really. So it, it's a win lose. Like you know what I'm saying. But the good thing is when you buy an expensive jacket, you have it for years. Cause I've had my jacket since 2019, and I still have it now. And I did pay $1,200 for it at the time. But yeah, that's it. I have to call him back. I, I have to call him back. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly do this because I wanna finish this fast. Reply to my email, call the people. I'm actually I'm gonna no, 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 I have to ship the wigs off first because the way the post office, I think they send out shipments at 4 p.m. every day. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's the time. So I wanna get to the post office before four so the wigs can be shipped out to the girls. And I'm probably gonna stop at Starbucks and get something to drink. Anyway, let me just go finish this and I'll come back to you guys, okay? So that's what I'm doing right now. Psalms, I'm gonna need you to just go, okay? So this is the first wig. So I package it like as close as possible. So I'm not gonna say like, but as close as possible as how um, you would normally get it if you're supposed to buy it from a company. So I put it in the hair net, everything, and I put the thing that's inside. I know a little thing to make it fancy. And I fold it. Guys, do you see the type of wig that I'm sitting back? I just want you guys to know that it's, you guys are getting deals, okay? <laughs> Yo, oh my gosh, go, go! So, and then what I do is I get a box. Obviously, it's not gonna be my box because it's not my wig. Um, so I just put it in a, I save all my boxes that I get because I know I'm going to, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Listen, listen, listen. Anyways, where was I? 
um yeah so i get the box because i save all my boxes after like whenever i get my wigs i save them because i know i'm gonna sell out my wigs and just in case i have to ship them then i want to ship them in boxes um so i normally get like something at least a lash something of the store to kind of give them you know something because yeah so i'm putting a bonnet this hair thing and some lashes inside this one so i'm gonna fold the wig and put it inside and then i put the goodies on top I need to get tape, a tape, a tape. Please uh, move here. And I put it like this. I need to get a tape to tape it. But it's also going to be going in a next box. So, yeah. one because i can't find any more bonnets i don't know where my bonnets are and i really am behind time but i'm still giving her something so i'm gonna give her a sucking cap um some lashes and a hair tie and then this box is different it just closed on top like so so i have both wigs then i'm going to Head on over to the post office. I think I'm gonna take you guys with me. So, yeah, let's get it. So I shipped the packages. I shipped the packages. Got my Starbucks. Well, oh my gosh, did I did I really put Starbucks at the second of the list? <laughs> Why? Anyways, guys, I'm back home and it's no. Let me see the time. It's now 4:39. I swear, this wallpaper cannot let you guys see the time. But oh my gosh. Anyways, so it's 4:39. I just came up from the post office. I shipped the packages that I was supposed to ship. I um, did my, finished my YouTube stuff, uploaded it. Uh, did the, uh, oh my God, songs. What are you doing? What, what are you doing? What? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, so, um, yeah, so I pretty much did what I was supposed to do. Ma majority of the stuff. I still have to do the marketing thing, which I'm gonna do it maybe later when I'm laying down because I feel like that's when my creative juices start flowing. So I'm gonna do that later on when I'm laying down. Let me just check my book to make sure that I actually did. Oh, I still need to send those girls their, um, stop it. Their, what's it called? their um 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 their tracking number for their packages so yeah so i have i went to the post office edited the vlog that's supposed to be posted tomorrow um sent it to the company already did the thumbnail everything and um 
replied to my emails that I was supposed to reply to called the guy oh my goodness that's what I was supposed to tell you guys about so I basically I called the um I called back the guy for my jacket because you know they're cleaning my jacket sounds please I'm making you two seconds because they're cleaning my jacket and guys tell me why the last time i cleaned my jacket was twenty dollars okay no chocolates inside and you can die it was twenty dollars to clean my jacket i know 100 and 40 like, what am i supposed to get it from you can't tell me i don't have it i don't have it like oh you have a cf i live life and have all these respect like, i don't know this adult life is ghetto but anyway, the guy called me and the guy saying because my fur can't come off, they're gonna have to literally take it off and then sew it back on. So pretty much we're taking my jacket apart, cleaning it separately. So the leather people them is gonna be cleaning the leather part, the fur people them are cleaning the fur part, and then the next part material like it's like different different persons doing different different sections. So I'm just like, oh my god goodness, like you know when somebody is just trying to Full your head up or be a foolish and well not foolish but like information and you're just like okay 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 you know what just do what you're supposed to do and that's what i ended up doing i was just like okay now he's telling me this person that person and I, my head is just like okay 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 how much <laughs> you know like how much just tell me how much and then he said 140. i don't know i think that's before tax still so yeah um i'm just like you know what it's fine if that's what you have to do to clean it just do it and clean it because i'm I just want to be done with this jacket at this point like keep it so yeah i end up calling them back and i heard the price which annoyed the f out of me but yeah that's that so what i have to do later on for the rest of the day pretty much is the marketing thing and i have to wash away because tomorrow i have a hair appointment and that's that and that concludes this vlog because i don't want it to be too long so this vlog was consisted of me selling my wigs so styling and prepping my wigs for selling um my starbucks i didn't even tell you guys what i got so i don't know if you guys could see i'm just gonna mm, but that is typically my Starbucks order. And I got it from TikTok. So yeah. Starbucks. And it's in my vlog. Um, I'll show you guys. Like if you haven't seen, like it's just a day in the life. Pretty much or two days in my life. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you guys would like to see more vlogs, definitely let me know. And I will definitely do more. But for now, thank you guys. I love you. See you guys in my next one. Bye. 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 Bye.